Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Alicia and I'm joined today in the studio by... Michael. Hey everybody. And today our topic is going to be our things, our favorite things that we miss when we are outside of America. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing on my list for today, my list of three items, I have chosen ovens. One of the things that I really miss when I'm outside of America is ovens. Uh, the ovens that my family has always had in our house are very, very big. You can cook turkeys, you can cook casseroles, you can cook pretty much anything you could ever imagine in an oven. When I'm outside of America, um, I often find that oven sizes are noticeably smaller or ovens themselves are just harder to come by than they are in America. So that's one thing that I really, really miss when I'm outside the States. I don't know if this is the thing that plays a big part in your life, but for me, it's a big thing. Mm, honestly, I didn't notice until you said that because I don't cook. I'm lazy. I just go to the convenience store. I go to like whatever street vendor or something like that, which I know is more expensive, but you mm -hmm. know, a true American, I, I just want convenience, you know. Um, yeah, but I think most things, like you said, I, I think that's going to be a general theme for most of us is everything's bigger in America. Uh, so. Yeah. Um, well, actually, that leads me to one. Uh, that's a good transition. Let me pick the one. <laughs> uh, this one. Okay. So, dun, dun, dun. speaking of everything being bigger, space. I miss space. Mm. You take it for granted. You don't realize it, especially if you go to some more crowded countries like in Asia, uh, mm -hmm. and that's where I've been for the past past while. And uh, yeah, most people, you you have no idea. Um, in America, it's pretty common, I would say. It's starting to change, but it's typical for 18-year-olds mm -hmm. to move out and live by themselves. And that's not true in a lot of countries. In a lot of countries, they live with their parents until they get married. Mm -hmm. um, and so I grew up going to house parties. You don't go to the bar. Uh, you, know, you, don't turn, you, you can't drink legally until you're 21. So you, you go to people's houses. Right. It's cheaper even when you are of age, as you should wait. But... <laughs> You know, there's always house parties. There's, it's, it's never an issue to have space. Um, also driving. There's tons of space, tons of room. Um, yeah, just in general, I miss space. So that, that's probably why they don't have ovens in some other countries. Right, right. Yeah, your point about space is so true, especially that point that you made about the difference between having house parties and parties at a bar at a restaurant. When I've been in countries in Asia as well, it's no, I, I rarely get invited to people's houses. Mm. You only get invited to someone's house if you've known them for a long time and you're pretty close friends. At least in my case, maybe my friends are different from your <laughs> friends. I don't know. But yeah, having a house party is very, very rare, I find. Mm. And if you do have a house party, there are very few people. It's not like, you know, big college parties in the States. Mm, it's not a rager. It's just a, it's like a dinner party. Right. It's the equivalent of an American dinner party where it's a, it's adults having wine, eating food. Okay, leave, you know. But in, in the States, I think it's just so common. You rent from a friend. It doesn't matter if the carpet gets dirty, whatever, right. you know, just there's another, there's another house over there. There's plenty of space to yep. go around. Yep, so. yep. Mm. That's a good point. Okay, great. Um, well, I guess I'll go on to my next one. You're probably going to sense a theme going on with mine. Um, but my next one, I've chosen cheese. Um, I really like cheese, and I find that it's more expensive, I should say. It's more expensive, and maybe options are somewhat limited. Um, well, depending on where you travel in the world. Um, we've been talking a lot about Asia, where we have experience. And in Asia, there's, you know, I mean, cheese is available, but uh, it's often much, much more expensive than it is uh, in the States. So that's something that I really miss. I like it from time to time and just, you know, going to the, the supermarket or to a department store in Asia and seeing, you know, something that would cost, I don't know, $3 or $4 in the, in the States being, you know, 20 or 25 is just a little, ah, you know. Mm. So it's one of those things that you kind of miss about home, a small convenience that would make life a little bit more fun. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I love cheese. People talk about, oh, if I eat too much cheese, my stomach will hurt. No way. I can eat cheese until I die. I love cheese <laughs> and I miss it. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, sometimes it's hard to really convince yourself to spend that extra, you know, you can get pretty much anything. It's the 21st century. You can go to like Costco or whatever and get peanut butter, whatever you miss. But, you know, to bring yourself to spend that ridiculous amount of money, it's, yeah. it's tough. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of food, speaking of food, um, I miss this one. I'm from Colorado and this is the best food you'll ever have in your life. It's called Chipotle, and it's from Colorado, and it's, uh, we have a lot of Mexicans in Colorado, so we have a lot of Mexican influence. This is definitely not authentic Mexican food. <laughs> this is definitely Americanized. It's huge, you know, big burritos with lots of cheese, mixed yeah. rice, so filling. 
I love it. And it's hard to find that kind of stuff. You know, you yeah. just food in general, just some real hearty yeah. uh, artery clogging, <laughs> artery clogging, disgusting stuff that just oh, hits the spot, you know? so For sure. Mm. For sure. Yeah, I totally agree. And I guess I'm just going to share my last one. <laughs> my, my other word was burrito. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's true. Burritos. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we're cut from the same cloth mm. on this point. Where are you from again? Which state? I was born in California, but we moved to Oregon. Now my family is in California again. And one of the things, I was recently back in the States and I ate a lot of burritos. I had this thing called like an extra super burrito because I thought just the just the fillings were going to be, you know, I thought there were going to be a lot of fillings or it was going to be spicy, but it turned out to literally be like this long. <laughs> they had to use, I'm not exaggerating, I took a picture of it. They had to use two, two massive like tortillas to wrap the whole thing. And then I couldn't actually pick it up. I had to like lay it down on a table and like <laughs> part of the end of it to eat it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I think, I don't know if this is unique to, to our generation or unique to people who are from like the West Coast of America, but the west west ish side of america but just man burritos there's just mm. nothing like them mm. yeah i miss it it's total it's it's part of my childhood uh, not to go on too long but mexican influence is growing in america so you don't say you know do you want to have mexican tonight you say let's have burritos mm -hmm. it's taco night thursday's taco night it's just a part of my culture so yeah. i would say it's part of american culture yeah um, fajitas so, oh. burritos Tacos, tostadas, chimichangas, enchiladas, anything, <laughs> anything with meat, tortilla, cheese, something spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Spicy food. Always. Oh, I always miss those things. We're true Americans. Just like I, everything is like <laughs> food, food, food. I know. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's do this one. Another one I was thinking of is 24-hour cafes. Oh. So, mainly for the Wi-Fi. But this is pretty common, I think, especially for high school students going back to like parties, when you can't drink, you can't do anything too exciting. So usually you go with your friends and you loiter at Denny's or something like that. And it's open 24 oh. hours, you just get some coffee and you just sit and talk and you annoy the waiters and waitresses. That's like a pretty, I'd say, normal American experience. Yeah. Um, and I miss it, you know. Some, some towns I've been into lately just shut down. It's surprising, especially if it's not the weekend. Just mm -hmm. like nothing's going on. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Again, this isn't like just America, but it's it's definitely right. part of my childhood. Right? So. Yeah. When you said twenty four hour cafe, I thought, oh, well, there are twenty four hour cafes, you know, in other in other countries and other places. Mm -hmm. But I see what you mean. Like, there's a certain it's it's like a diner. I think like you can see it. You can see maybe examples of them in old in old movies sometimes. But you can just go in there like two in the morning and get a coffee and a piece of pie. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing like you know mysterious or sketchy about it at all. It's just sort of just this nice, usually quiet. Maybe there'll be some strange people in there. You might look strange for going to a coffee shop at two in the morning, but I mean, it's just, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It's that atmosphere, of, like going there with your friends, you know, after the football game or something like that. It's just sort of a nostalgic sort of thing to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that one a lot. Yeah, that's a good idea. Aww. Now we're homesick, Aww. man. <laughs> Great. That's all we have Great. Today. Well, those are those are some really interesting, a lot of food options, but some interesting things that we miss about America when we're not at home in the States. If there's something that you miss about your home country or your home city, please let us know about it in the comments. Uh, it's been fun. Again, thank you very much for joining me, Michael. You're welcome. Okay, and thank you all for joining us again as well. We hope to see you again soon. Bye.